There are multiple ways to create patterns or arrays of parts and features in IonCAD. Firstly, I'll show you some of these options using the tribal, and then I'll also show you how to use the pattern feature tool. To start, I'll drag and drop an H cylinder and snap it to the center of my model. And now I'll activate the tribal. Now I'm going to right click and drag along the axis I want to move along and let go at any distance. There's a few different options here. Moving will move that item the distance you specify in the next window. Copying will copy that item there and leave it unrelated to the first item. Linking will link the two items together so they stay the same size but are still freely positionable. And patterning will create a pattern that can be changed at a later date. In this case, we'll use link, choose a number of two and a distance of 80, and I'll also tick repeat in reverse direction, and hit OK. That will now create a link of five holes, spaced at 80 millimeters apart, and two on either side of the center hole. Because these are linked, I can now adjust any hole and they'll all resize to match. I can also right click and select unlink to make an individual hole unlinked from the others. Because these holes are linked and not patterned, they're still freely positionable. So we can grab onto any hole here and move it anywhere we like and it will still retain that link. Now I'll delete those holes, select on this hole at the end and activate the try ball again. right click dragging on the axis again and this time I'll select create linear pattern. When you're creating a pattern you're now choosing the total number of holes as opposed to how many you're adding on which is what you choose when you're doing the link. So we'll choose a total number of holes of 6 here at a distance of 70 and then hit OK. Now with a pattern, after we've deactivated the try ball, we'll still have the same link as before, so one change to one feature will update the rest. But now we can go in at any stage and click down to the pattern level and double click on the distance to adjust that or adjust the number in the pattern. So for example, we'll change this to 5 and make the number 90 and hit enter or OK. For freely positioning patterns, there's one option that will help if it's ticked, which is if we go to Menu, Tools, Options, and then Interaction, tick this box which says Enable Master Shape Positioning with Tribal under Pattern Behavior. This will now allow us to position this pattern using the Tribal. And for example, if we wanted to center this pattern, we could press the spacebar to make the tribal white, move the tribal to the center of our pattern, which in this case is in the center of this third hole. So we'll simply hover over the circumference and hold down the shift key to get it to snap to the center there. Now I'll press the spacebar so the tribal is blue again, click on the axis we want to move along, and now we can drag and find the midpoint of that edge. Now I'll delete that pattern and activate the tribal again on this IntelliShape. Another way to create patterns is at the plane level here. So if we right click and drag on this plane, we can now create a rectangular pattern or of course link, copy and move as before. 
And in this case, we get both distances uh, and both numbers of features that we want to have there in the pattern. I'll cancel this one now, and we won't create a, create a rectangular pattern there. Now I'll go in and show you the pattern feature tool. So depending on the type of pattern you, you create, the pattern feature tool can be useful for, for example, creating edge patterns or more complex patterns that are defined off geometry in the model. So if we click on pattern feature here, we've already got our feature selected there. Now we'll choose an option. In this case, I'll choose the edge pattern. Choose an edge. And let's choose this one here. Oh, actually, we'll choose this one here. Now there's a few different options here. So for example, we can choose evenly spaced to have them evenly spaced along that edge. We can also choose an offset, for example, a 20 mil offset at the start and a 20 mil offset at the end. And we can also tick different options here, like a long edge direction, depending on the shape you're patterning, and offset from that edge so that it aligns with wherever our feature is placed in the model. If our feature is placed in the model like this, it's best to not have an offset at the start so that it aligns like you can see there. So a good way to set up an even uh, edge pattern here would be to choose the distance we want to have this away from the edge. So we'll right click here and do edit distance from point. Choose for this to be 50 away from that point, for example. And then go back to our pattern feature. Choose this edge, and at the other side we'll have a 50 mil offset, so they're now the same. And we can, of course, adjust this number if we want to as well. And we can go in and edit that pattern in the tree at any stage later. There are also other pattern options here, which I won't cover in this video. But one other thing I'll cover is using the tribal to do circular patterns. So if we zoom in close to the corner here and then drag and drop an H cylinder out. And now I'll resize this one to be 8 mil, for example, and hit enter. Now I'll activate the tri ball using this button up here or a shortcut key. And now I'm going to drag the tri ball to this point to snap it there. And then drag along this axis inward to create an offset of 10 mil. Now pressing the space bar to make the tribal white and clicking into empty space to deselect that axis, I'm going to drag the tribal along the circumference here and then just hold down the shift key and snap that to the center point of that radius. Now I'll press the space bar to make the tribal blue again. Click on the vertical axis and then right click and drag in the spherical section of the tribal. And for example, here I'll do a link. We can also create a radial pattern if we want to. In this case, I'll just do a link of 6 at 15 degrees. And we can also type in a uh, formula there if we want to as well. For example, uh, if we wanted them to be evenly spaced around a circle, we could type in uh, six divided, or 360 divided by 6 in that box as well. We'll hit OK there, and that will create our pattern for us. And with links, as always, you can change one of these. It doesn't have to be the first one, and the rest will update. Now I'll also zoom in and mirror these across by shift selecting them, activating our tribal, pressing the space bar to move the tribal to the midpoint of one of these edges, right click and go to midpoint of edge, 
press the spacebar again and right click on the internal access handle and do mirror link to the other side. 